All right, I hope this works. A very unscientific test comparing XPS adhesion and EPS. A lot of this, a lot of stuff written about this saying XPS is bad and EPS is good. I'm thinking about making a board, so I thought I'd give it a go. This strip will be untreated. This strip, I'm going to just prick a lot of little holes. And it's just a little block with pins in it. And this is 80 grit sand. Very light. And the EPS, untouched. All right, I'll mix up some resin. We've got some glass strips here ready to go. Let's see how it turns out. Mixed up some West Systems 105 with the fast hardener because as you can tell it's freaking cold in here. And I'm going to brush a bit on each section. Seems to go on a bit easier onto the EPS. The XPS seems to suck, be sucking a bit more resin. That's the first observation. Now these little strips I'm going to put in a loop so I can attach my scale through that bit. Alright, all done. I'm going to mop off the excess. Now to make sure they've all got roughly the same amount of resin on, see how that goes in the morning. Now the one we've all been waiting for, the peel test. This is the EPS with no treatment. That was the EPS, so fingers crossed the camera caught that, whatever those numbers were. And as you can see, it's picked up a lot of the foam, which is what you'd expect. The foam is not very strong. Uh, so this is the 80 grit prep, a light sand with, sand with 80 grit. That was definitely harder to get off than the um, EPS. This is the pinprick sample. And that was just as hard to pull up. And this is the last one which is untreated. This one had the least resistance, so that was interesting. I hope that shows up. But um, so far, it looks like the light sand with the 80 grit, the pin pricks, um, untreated, had the least adhesion. So that's good to know. 80 grit, good to go. Better than EPS, at least. Just in some decent light, you can see the tear patterns are quite different. The EPS is quite uniform, which you'd expect if given the EPS is so soft. The 80 grit actually came off in patches. We didn't get good adhesion here or here. Um, the pin pricks, you can actually see the extra resin dots where the pins went in. So that's quite interesting. Um, and the raw is really, really uniform, which is a bit surprising. I thought the sand would be better, but the raw actually has a more uniform finish so um maybe the pin if you actually want a a bit more adhesion um 
because it looks like the resin penetrates into the foam, giving you little little poles of um, support. So. Yeah.